this film, together with the red operations manual and the blue maintenance manual, will help you to handle maintenance on the exhaust valve. Descriptions of functions are found in the operating manual on pages 275 to 27521. Instructions for maintenance of the exhaust valve cage are found in the maintenance manual, group 275, pages 1 to 4. Please read carefully all pages in both the manuals that are referred to in the course of the film. Adhere to the instructions. Reliability of the engine and economical fuel consumption are dependent on good maintenance. Firstly, the engine is shut down exactly according to the operating instructions, page 31. The engine is drained of cylinder cooling water according to maintenance manual, group 270, sheet 1. Protect pipe connections from dirt and damage. Also, this bowl seat must be treated with utmost care to avoid damaging its surface. Now we have disconnected all pipes. The hydraulic pre-tensioning jack can be connected to the valve cage. Pay attention to the maintenance manual on group 940, page OD, operating instructions on the hydraulic pre-tensioning jacks. This is the tool we're going to use to slacken the exhaust valve cage from the cylinder cover. Every tool has a number. A complete list of all tools is found at the end of the maintenance manual, group 940. Take care not to forget that when slackening the hydraulic jack, it must be turned back by half a turn. Instructions to this effect in the maintenance manual, group 940, page OD. Now we check carefully all high pressure connections. Keep opening the vent screws until the oil flows without air bubbles. Then raise pressure to 600 to 620 bar so that the nuts can be slackened easily.
The nuts holding the valve cage are slack. Now we remove the jack and also take the nuts off completely. The valve cage is ready to be lifted off. It is rare that the valve cage becomes stuck. However, should that happen, it is easily prized loose with the jacking device. Make sure that the valve cage can be lifted easily. Make sure that no dirt gets into the combustion chamber. For this reason, cover it. The valve must be protected against damage. For that reason, the valve protector has to be fitted whenever the valve cage is dismounted from the engine. The valve cage is transported to the place where overhaul of the valve will be undertaken. That place should be as free from vibrations as possible. A spare valve must always be on board. The ceiling surface has to be absolutely clean and undamaged. We strongly recommend fitting a new soft iron ring at every overhaul.
Be careful not to damage the threads. The tightening pressure is 600 bar. You find all tightening indications in the maintenance instructions, group 13, sheets 1 and 2. Make sure that the nuts are tightened on a clean and smooth surface. Don't forget to check with a feeler gauge that there is no clearance between the nut and the seating surface before pump pressure is released. All pipes are now reconnected. Ball seats must not be connected if damaged. This flange must be screwed on tight and then slackened by half a turn. Take care to tighten these flanges evenly. Close the drain valve and refill with water coolant. Then start the oil and water pumps. Finally, check all connections to be sure that they make a complete seal against any leakage. Should you have any questions, be it on the subject of this instruction film or any other aspect of maintenance and operation of Sulzer engines, please call on your nearest Sulzer service representative. We shall be happy to be of assistance.